Good morning, it's five past ten. Welcome to the programme. We are live from the Bridgewater Hall in Manchester. <laughs> and just around the corner from here, just around the corner from here, the Labour Party are holding their annual party conference. We have around 200, we think it may be 255 live listeners, who've joined us here to tell us what they think of the party and as Ed Miliband as leader. And we'd love to hear from you, as always. Labour have been about 10 points ahead of the Conservatives in the opinion polls for quite a while now, most of this year really, although one poll yesterday suggested Labour were just five points ahead. But almost every single poll I've seen when it comes to the economy suggests voters prefer David Cameron and George Osborne to run the economy over Ed Miliband and Ed Balls, and that's despite austerity cuts and a double-dip recession. So we'd like to ask you today what you think uh, of Labour when it comes to the economy. Do you trust them on the economy? And also, what do people think about Ed Miliband? What do they really know about him and what he stands for in this Labour Party? Morning. Morning. My name's Nick. Um, I work for a charity called Mancunian Way. We tackle anti-social behaviour and youth offending. Um, for me personally, I think the jury's out on Ed Miliband at the moment. Um, I judge people on what they do. I don't judge people on what they wear. I don't judge people on what other people say about them. And I definitely don't judge people on what their wives wear. And I think <laughs> at the moment in this country, we, it's, politics is turning into a different version of X Factor. Let's judge people on what they do, not on what they wear. Has Ed Miliband done anything as leader of the Labour Party, in your opinion? Um, no. Um, but he's only been in post a couple of years. He's in opposition, and the opposition always opposes. Um, and I think we do a bit too much of that as well. You know, I think always criticising the government in power is easy to do. It's easy to criticise. We need to find out what Labour want to do. And I want a vision from him. I don't want a five-year plan, a vision. OK. Uh, we have, obviously, some senior Labour politicians today. Um, I have no idea if they'll be able to give you a vision, but we will certainly put that to them in a moment. Let's hear some more views, though, first. Hi. Yeah, good morning, Victoria. My name's Jeff. I'm 55. I'm a food worker, and I'm originally from Salford. The only trouble with politics is politicians. There are far too many <laughs> career politicians in life and not enough working class people standing up who really know what life's all about and more of us should stand up and become politicians ourselves. So as a politician, are you saying that you don't rate Ed Miliband because A, he's not working class and B, you think he's a career politician? The trouble is, Victoria, and it's gone on now since uh, Margaret Thatcher got involved with the Saatchi brothers, there's too much about personalities and not enough about substance. What this country needs is substance and not spick and span. OK. So this gentleman here wants kudos, charisma, credibility, character... Um, presence. That's presence. That's not to mention any policies so yet. Go ahead. Uh, I mean... I'm Cameron, I'm a student from St Christopher's Sixth Form in Accrington and Ed Miliband, from my point of view, is a shambles. When he was elected leader of the Labour Party, it should have been David Miliband. I'm not a Labour voter, but if it was David, everybody else would, everybody else would be uh, running for the hills right now because it would be a landslide victory to Labour. The only but reason... What, what, when you say he's a shambles, what are you basing that on? What has he done that's made you think he's shambolic? Well, what has he done to make me not think that? This is the problem. I know he's in opposition, I know he's only been for a few years, but he is, at the end of the day, at the mercy of the unions because it was him who indeed put him in as the leader of the Labour he Party. He got more union votes than members and MPs yes. compared to his brother David. Good morning, I'm Anthony Pickthall and I work for an arts organisation, Liverpool Biennial. I actually think Ed is doing a fantastic job at the moment. I think he's pulling the party together. <laughs> I think he's, he's growing into the role of a credible leader. We put our leaders under incredible pressure just so that they can represent us and, and represent us boldly on the world stage. I think it's an incredibly difficult job, um, and I think he is one of those people who likes to think about things, and I think that's refreshing. 